This is not bad. A text editor that just allows you to, well, write text. But it looks blank, boring, useless, outdated, and it's not even made using the best framework ever. Electron. I've tried many text editors of the years, Notepads, Notepad, Obsidian, which I'm using right now, but there's a problem in each of them. Notepads can support files larger than 1 megabyte, Obsidian can't open TXT files, so I'm gonna gather every user experience I've had from each and combine them into one blazingly fast application in Rust. In fact, I want more. I successfully accomplished my idea if I get these side quests right. Everything inside the text editor must be controllable via the keyboard. No mouse. Mouse is bad. Markdown support and everything must be saved in real time. The user doesn't have to think about losing progress. I started by creating a new Tauri project, deleted everything and created a div which has its content editable for the file content. Then I tried to add a line counter but it just didn't look good. And I like the way Nano on Linux shows you the line count. So I might implement that later on if I really want to show the line counts or words. For that I experienced a lot of issues with the div since I was not really supposed to use it. So I switched to text area instead of div. I also added the title since it's easier than having a pop-up ask you where you want to save that file. Then I went ahead and added some CSS to both title and content to make them look more pleasing. And that's where I say, I am not a CSS designer. In fact, I barely know anything about it. So if it looks bad, I did it right. I tried to add the command palette, which I called command prompt in the code because I forgot how palette was spelled. I added it for easy access to searching shortcuts for commands, like saving the file or making a new one. Oh, and it's inspired from CDN. I also discovered jQuery while making it. Well, not really, I already knew about it, but I said screw it and used it for this project. And it was so good document that get element by id that's stupid just do a dollar sign and enter your selector and it has built-in animations i don't know if it's popular or hated to use jquery or if it's bloated or bad practice but i don't even care it made writing the javascript easier and then i hit a roadblock i had to make the commands in the command palette actually work so now i'm writing rust and my own storage system oh no Making the storage system is a bit complicated, since every file will have a new path when you change the title, so we can just search the directory for that file via its path. Instead what we will do is save a JSON file in the same directory as your project, which will contain the path to every file you have there included with an ID. Then we use that ID to get the path. A day later and it works. When you open the editor, it will open the last active file. I also made the title save every time you change it, which might not be the best idea, but I'll leave it like that for now. After all, I want everything saved. After that, I made the file creation actually work, making the command palette officially not useless anymore. Alright, so before I get into more styling, we need a way to actually keep track of the files we can open. If we take a look at Obsidian, they have all the files available on the left side, but I'm not really a big fan of that since even though we have space on the left side, I want everything to be clean. So therefore I will take some inspiration from some Arch Linux desktops I've seen where you have your windows saved in the corner marked by numbers. I think it would work great with this, since we could implement shortcuts like Ctrl plus 1 to switch to the first step. Some rust later and I added a field called open, which is a list of all the files that are currently open. And with some JavaScript we now made the tabs visually work. I also finally upped the design by properly writing CSS. There were also some little quality of life improvements that I'm gonna rapid fire through. When you hover on the tab number it tells you its title. New shortcut tab which is the focus between title and content new shortcut control plus one to nine switches tabs according to the number you press after control new shortcut control plus o opens a file but only the ones you created via the program don't tell anyone but it might crash if you open files that are not saved in the json file so please don't do that do not tell anyone you can click on the tabs at the bottom left while holding Ctrl to close that certain tab. New shortcut, Ctrl plus tab, quickly switches to the next file. And that's all I wanna add for shortcuts for now. Let's add my file support. But there's an issue. You see, when I wrote the code for the content of the file, I used text area. To explain it simply, text area is used for raw text, and it doesn't support styling like making certain parts of the text bold, italic, you get it. And I can't really remove it since all the code is interconnected to it because I'm a very competent programmer that totally did not hard code everything. So the problem is implementing Markdown is gonna be tough. I started by copying some ChatGP. Okay, let me word it better. I started by making the text area literally fly out of the screen at minus 9999 pixels under and act as an invisible text input. After that, I added a new div which will basically look like the text area, but it will have Markdown support. So it's been a couple hours and something happened, something truly unbelievable, something surreal. I had an issue where the content of the div wasn't starting from the top but rather from the center. I set it so the border from above and below was zero to fix that, but I didn't realize that I've set it to every element inside the div. So when I went to test if the line break feature works, tada, it didn't. And I thought it was a problem with the markdown to the HTML library I was using, and I switched the library. And it turns out that was pointless. So yeah, basically I'm good at CSS.
CSS should be rewritten in Rust, not gonna lie. Anyway, look at this. We got Markdown support. Default, crappy, semi-functional, questionable Markdown support. I'm gonna leave the finishing touches for tomorrow, which basically goes like this. It is indeed tomorrow. I was initially going to use HyperMD, which lets you attach the aforementioned text area tag to a display, but it's outdated and Mark.js isn't really what I'm looking for. So I found CK Editor as an alternative. It lets you integrate a literal mini Microsoft Word in your website for just little over one megabyte. Don't fact check that. I integrated it into the text editor, changed some styles to fit the theme I'm going for, and connected it to the Rust codes the files actually save. I could go more in depth on how they have a way to custom generate a build for your needs, which is pretty cool, but this video was becoming way too nerdy. After I implemented whatever JavaScript thread was needed, we have Markdown support. Actually, I forgot to fix some styles, hold up. Okay, now we have Markdown support. What's left? Well, we have some bugs to fix, such as the one that makes the tab at the bottom left not move the page, so they remain there when you scroll, and that's weird. We don't want that. Bad CSS. I fixed it with just one line of code. I also have a random thing that I want to add, which is a word counter like Obsidian has. I like it, it's useful, so we have to add it in our text editor too. So theoretically all we'd have to do is copy the tab code and mirror it so it's on the right side and change its contents. I made it actually functional with some messy javascript and I guess we now just have to make the logo and it's done. So I kind of forgot to show the software so I'm gonna do it now and then we'll get the logo. So you can open the command palette using Ctrl P, which will show you the commands, and you can also search for them, such as open and switch and others. And you can navigate using uh, the arrow keys and enter. So let's say we want a new file, we can do that. And then if we update the path, it's gonna appear right here in the tabs. So if we do this, it's gonna be here. And I can also highlight to see the text. So now, if I want to close it, for example, I can just press Ctrl W and it's gonna be done. And if I want to delete this new file, it will automatically generate. So for the content, you can also do stuff like header, or I can type some stuff here, and then I can highlight it and make it bold, italic, code, and I can also do a link. And yeah. Or you can also do a list, and then a numbered list. So that's pretty cool. So under stuff, what do we have else? Eh, that's pretty much it. And there's a word counter, so back to the logo. Here's a sped up process, I guess. Yeah, I just made a rounded rectangle with a black to white gradient and the letter F. I'm now a certified designer. I implemented it into the code, compiled the program, and there we go. This was pretty fun to make, not gonna lie. Oh, by the way, it's now called Testify. Get it? Textify. Face. Textify. Yeah, never mind. So although the software is a prototype loaded with bugs, it's somewhat functional and I've achieved everything I've had planned for it. And I still stand by my opinions, CSS should be rewritten in Rust. You can download Textify at the GitHub link in the description. A big thanks to all the patrons and members for supporting the channel, thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one. Why do you have to turn a string into a string?